Hey folks, uh, Dave Parrish here with Knack Builders doing another video for you. Uh, today's topic. Again, if you like these videos, please uh, like them on the YouTube channel. Uh, subscribe to the channel also. But I'm going to do another one on uh, conditional rules. I love conditional rules. Uh, so I'm, I have this series where I just say, hey, here's how I use the conditional rule to solve something. In this case, what I'm going to do is solve a corrupt field. <clears throat> and if you build a lot, every once in a while, it doesn't happen that often, a field that you had, like an equation, in this case it's a, an equation, uh, but it could be something else. It just stops working. It's, it's done. Um, and that field can be used in a whole bunch of places uh, for other things. And um, it's a pain. And you don't want to have to redo a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, I'm going to show you a way that... Uh, greatly minimized the hassle of a corrupt field using a conditional rule. I'll be right back. Okay, here's the lowdown. Now I use the conditional rule to fix the corrupt field. Um, I'm going to call up an amp here. This is going to be a short one. Um, this is an app it's for a swimming school. It manages a bunch of aspects of it. Creating a class, location, a pool, an instructor, students, parents sign up their, their kids for a particular class. Uh, it manages instructors of the class. And each class, a bunch of different types of class, has a bunch of questions or skill sets that they're rated on. Uh, depending on the type of class, they each have a different set. Um, and then all these different skill sets are added, or the scores are added together, and they have to reach a certain threshold to pass the class and advance on to the next class. A lot going on with this. But this has to do with an equation that's adding up a bunch of ratings for a particular class. Um, and there's a whole bunch of this in one table, student class thing is what an instance of a student taking an instance of a class. And all the different classes are in the same object. And using page rules, it hides or shows the appropriate content depending on which class. Uh, but we're dealing with the sum or the sum of the ratings. Uh, I'm going to call it, I'm just going to call it. Here's different things. These are acronyms, and these are all behind the scenes, by the way. Uh, but it's taking the scores, adding them up all the ratings that they got for these different types. And this one right here called SK Final, <clears throat> this used to be an equation. Um, and like I said, it doesn't happen that often, but it's definitely, it happens that this field just stops working. I rated one of the kids testing this, uh, and it used to work, and then it was resulting in a score of zero. And it's a simple calculation. I'll give you an example of another one. It's just taking the whole score, it's dividing it by the maximum, I won't get into the, the, how we're rating it, times it by 100 so it's not a decimal, and then adding back in a manual adjustment if you want to do a manual adjustment. This is what this was. It was giving me the right answer, then it stopped. And then this particular thing is used in a number of different places. It's used to calculate something else. It populated throughout the app and the admin side, instructor side, and I didn't want to have to, I could have remade it, uh, but then I have to go back to all these other places and change it, I didn't want to do that. What I did is, first of all, to find out if it was corrupt, I made the exact same field, and then I copied its content, which was this, but adding up different things, just simply copied it. Uh, this thing here with the asterisk, I was doing it behind the scenes, I put an asterisk, this, I did call this test, and then I let it do its thing, and it gave me the right calculation. And I'm like, ah, man, this thing's corrupt. And, again, I didn't want to have to do it in a whole bunch of places. And then I said, you know what? Why don't we just use a conditional rule? What I'll do is I'll make this, I'm going to call this fix, and I explain exactly what it is. Uh, this other field got corrupt, so I'm going to use this field that I know is working, and I'm going to make the corrupt field the value of this field. That's the gist of this whole thing I'm talking about. So what I did is take this equation that was corrupt, not working anymore, turn it into a number, change the type of field, and it gives you a warning you can lose everything. I don't care. So now it's a number field. Then I put a condition on it, and I said, hey, I want this field to be the value of this other exact same equation. Um, 
but the one that's working, I called it, renamed it the fix. Um, and that's what it did. So now this score is whatever this value is. And you should, by the way, it's best if you have a condition, have this before the one that has a condition. So this value is set, then this goes and grabs it. You don't want to do it the other way around. I think it might work itself out, but put it before. There's an order of operation. So by changing this and just making it um, the right value that I already had, I don't have to go to all these other... First of all, there's other equations that use it that I have to go now fix. Uh, it's remaining the same field. It's just right now. And and then I don't have to go to the pages side and hunt all around for where it shows up uh, and replace, replace it. I just leave it the same one. I just got it, pushing it to work using that conditional rule. That's what I got today, folks. Appreciate it. Thanks.